When creating a toolpath after selecting the geometry, the next step is to select the cutter. For this contour toolpath, I'll use a 1 inch end mill. In the 2D toolpath contour window, I'll select Tool. In this area, all of the tools used thus far to machine the part are listed. In this case, since this is the first tool, it's blank. However, Mastercam will always set the default tool to a half inch end mill, as you can see here. To select the 1 inch end mill, I'll click on Select Library Tool, then Filter, and the Tool List Filter will open. Here the most commonly used cutters can be found. You can use this filter to search through Mastercam's tool library and show only 1 inch flat bottom end mills. To do this, I'll first clear all tools from the selection by selecting None. Then I'll select the flat bottom end mill as the type of tool to search for. The next step is to tell Mastercam that I'll only want to see all flat bottom end mills whose diameter equals 1 inch. I'll leave all the tool materials selected. When I accept these selections, all tools within Mastercam's default tool library, which meets the search criteria I entered, will be displayed in the tool selection window. In this case, it has found one result, tool number 297. I won't close this window yet, as I have not selected the tool from the search results. I'll select this tool by clicking on it, then I'll accept this selection. Now you can see that I have a 1 inch end mill as tool number 1. I'll set the desired speeds and feeds for this tool. Since I'm using a high speed steel end mill to cut mild steel, I'll set the cutting speed to 100 feet per minute. When I press enter on the keyboard, Mastercam will recalculate the RPM to 382. Next, I want to use a feed per tooth or chip low, as it's sometimes called, of 10 thou. Again, once I press enter on the keyboard or click on another cell, the feed is calculated to 15.28 inches per minute. Since the tool will be plunging in air and not into the material, I'll set the plunge rate to 20 inches per minute and enable the rapid retract so that when the tool has completed its cutting it will move up above the part as fast as the machine can go and not waste time moving at the retract rate. The last thing I'll do on this screen, which is a good idea to do for all tools, is to enter a comment which will help any person who reads the program to understand what's happening. Comments should be in all capital letters because there are many older machines which will not accept small letters even in a comment. Since this is a comment, it will appear in round brackets in the code on any Fanuc controlled machine. As the comment I'll enter, machine, half round pocket. 